would everyone please uh, turn off their cell phones or silence them and uh, rise for a moment of silence and pledge of allegiance. Nelly? Here. Duke? Here. Emo? Here. Anagnostakis? Price. Benton? Here. Cheney? Here. Fagione? Here. Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Minuta? Here. O'Donnell? Here. Riskevich? Here. Sassi? Here. Sierra? Here. Stagenga? Here. Sutherland? Here. Tuttle? Here. Tui? Here. Bureau? Here. Brescia? Here. 21 present. Okay, we've got two recognition awards. Uh, first up, I would like to invite Mount Hope Police Officers John Scoopus and Sean Burke, as well as Mount Hope Police Chief Paul Ricard, uh, for certificates recognizing the police officers, officers, excuse me, that captured the fugitive from uh, fugitives from Louisiana at the Otisville Pizza Establishment. Sorry, and uh, Legislator Janet Sutherland, who represents that that area. Gentlemen and Chief Ricard, um, on behalf of the legislature, I'd like to thank you for your act of heroism. We read about it in the Times Hill record, and we always like to recognize acts of uh, such great importance in our community, public safety. Can't thank you enough for doing what you did that day, quick thinking and on the job. And uh, Legislator Stiganga knows you from way back, so she wanted to give a special... Uh, I'm over here. Hey. Oh, you're over here too? Yeah. I'm taking pictures, okay. But thanks again, I'm gonna turn it over to Janet to speak a little bit about what happened that day. Great, thank you so much. Um, I also wanna recognize Supervisor Volpe and Councilman Carrier here from Mount Hope uh, this afternoon with us. Um, you know, I have to tell you, I've only heard through getting pizza and you know, uh, through town really what happened, but uh, really what I was told was just the um, sense of calm and control and you went in and you did your job without you know, any issues, obviously. Um, you guys were terrific. And I have to say, if correct, try to correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe, Officer Scoofus, you've been a corrections officer 22 years? 22 years in Otisville. You've been with our force for almost 17, okay, 16 years. Um, you're a retired lieutenant from the police department in New York, and you've only been with Mount Hope since November? but you're a he's a resource officer with us um, out in Otisville Elementary School. And I just want to tell you, there's a reason, and Paul, you've been our chief 10 years. Um, there's a reason Mount Hope has been listed in the top 10 of some of the safest towns in New York to live, and that is because of uh, Chief Ricard and because of um, the amazing officers that we have out there. They're really, they're the best guys. So if I can give this to you, Sean, this is for you. Officer Burke, excuse me. Um, for outstanding police work, apprehending two fugitives, and maintaining public safety for the residents of Orange County, given this seventh day of February 2019. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Officer Scoofus, again, for outstanding police work, apprehending two fugitives, and maintaining public safety for the residents of Orange County, given this seventh day of February 2019. So on behalf of the legislator and the residents of Orange County, thank you so much for what you did. Paul, thank you.
Thank you again. And Paul got his training in City Middletown. You were there for many years too, right? Yep. Yeah. Had to put that plug in for Middletown. Okay, next we have a proclamation recognizing Cindy Paris, 2018 Teacher of the, of the Year in New York State. Uh, I invite you up, Cindy. Uh, Legislator Joel Sierra, who represents most of Middletown. Minority Leader Mike Paduke to come on up also. Middletown School Superintendent Richard Del Moro. Assistant Superintendent Amy Creighton. Board of Education President John Perino and representing the athletic department, athletic director David Coates, who I've known since he was a little, little you know what. <laughs> Kevin Gleason, Tammy Yeager, and Denise McEwen, McCown Simonson, is it? McEwen Simonson. Okay, I wanna, you got the whole crew here today, huh? Yeah. Cindy, this is a huge honor, and uh, I thank you for coming in today. I told Joel you'd better come in here. Because we, uh, we haven't done this too many times over the year. Deborah Calvino from Valley Central many years ago, quite a few years ago. We had a nurse of the year from the town of Crawford. And we've, I think we've had one other award that we've given along this line. But this is a huge honor. We're very proud of you. And who wants to say a little bit about David's going to do it? OK. Mr. Brescia, members of the legislature, thank you very much. On behalf of the uh, Middletown City School District, I'm honored and privileged to uh, uh, be speaking on behalf of Ms. Cindy Parisi. She has excited our, our students and uh, our athletes. She's not only a physical education teacher, she's a coach as well. And uh, when we thought of uh, bringing uh, dance education as a physical education requirement or credit requirement for Middletown, uh, it's just been wonderful and Mr. Del Moro was uh, extremely a big part of that. And um, we have really flourished under Cindy's direction in, in that area. So we are so honored that she's here. She's only sick, we talked about it on the way over six years at Middletown, but she has done so much to enrich our students and uh, our community. So thank you very much. I'd like to hand it over to Cindy. can't thank you enough for bringing me here. I feel very humbled. I really feel so honored. And from reinventing my life, from performing on Broadway to go back to college to become a teacher, I feel like I've looked up to people. I, on, I really appreciate Dave Coates bringing me in here. Mr. Del Moro was in that first interview as well, um, working with my principal, Tracy Sorrentine. Tammy and Denise, Kevin, Mr. Perino's everywhere. Um, I just, I feel very honored. And for you bringing me here to the Orange County Legislature, I thank you so much. I feel beyond grateful. So thank you again, I really appreciate it. Uh, a million thank yous. So often, uh, teachers are so underappreciated in our, in our uh, society. And um, you guys are the ones who are in charge of our next generation, and that where our, our values are going, where our economy is going, and so much is riding upon your shoulders. And thank you for all the hard work you did. Um, a million thank yous. Like I said, you guys have a wonderful uh, school district, and it's glad to, I'm happy to see that you guys have wonderful staff there. So a million thank yous. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I really don't know you, but uh, from every, all the talk that we've heard, I'm sure you're a very special person. Look, we have a lot of great people in Middletown. It's great to be rewarded for having an educator as well. So I'm very proud to, to be here, be part of this team that's congratulating you and look forward to hearing more about all the great things you do. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks, Cindy, and, and be, on behalf of the legislature, I have this proclamation for you. I'll read the first proclamation uh, sentence and the whereas and the final proclaim because it's a little lengthy. Uh, a proclamation of the Orange County Legislature 
recognizing Cindy Paris, dance and physical education teacher at Middletown High School as 2018 Teacher of the Year. Whereas this legislature is proud to honor Cindy Paris as a recipient of the 2018 Teacher of the Year Award by the New York State Association of Health, Physical Education, Recreation and Dance and proclaim that this day be rec a day of recognition of the dedicated service of Cindy Paris on the occasion of her designation as the recipient of the 2018 Teacher of the Year Award of the New York State Association of Health, Physical Education, Recreation and Dance so that all citizens of Orange County may be mindful of the good works and outstanding contributions of Cindy Paris to the health, fitness, and well-being of the youth of the county, which is crucial to their growth, excuse me, development and educational success. Given the 7th day of February 2019, Michael Paduk, Minority Leader, Joel Sierra, Legislator, and L. Stephen Brescia, Chairman of the Legislature. Just before we start uh, part, uh, public participation, I would like to read a section from our legislative manual under our rules of order and procedure entitled Order and Decorum at Meetings. All members of the legislature, persons addressing the legislature, and all persons present at meetings shall address their remarks through the chair, and such remarks shall be confined to the issue and subject matter of legislation, which is the subject of debate. Any such remarks shall not be directed to the motives or character of members or other persons, and if made, shall be made, shall be out of order. All members and all other persons present shall refrain from disturbing the assembly or hampering the transaction of business by disorderly speech, movements, or other disruptive conduct. The chairman is empowered to remove any non-member person from a meeting for such disruptive speech or conduct. Thank you, Antoinette. Uh, before we start on public participation, I'd like to wish one Kathy Stagenga a very happy birthday. <laughs> Do we want to sing a happy birthday? Or? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> okay, public participation. First speaker, Mary Ann McDonough, with respect to Black History Month and the Orange County Legislature. Uh, I'm here to speak about Black History Month uh, in relation to the Orange County Legislature as it was just spoken. Uh, February is Black History Month, and I have a few quotes from Dr. Martin Luther King that I think are important for this legislature to hear and for Orange County to hear. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. The ultimate tragedy is not the oppression and cruelty by bad people, but the silence over that by good people. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. So therefore, on that basis, these quotes have moved me in the past, 
currently and probably in the future to continue to act, speak out, speak up, write, demonstrate, march in honor and in tribute to Dr. King. And therefore is the reason I wrote my letter to the editor on January 17th. The letter said the following, the Times Herald Record should publish another jeers to Steve Brescia, re-elected chair of the Orange County Legislature. The, 20, the January 23rd, 2017 letter jeers to Brescia for abusing his power. That abuse was removing two legislatures from committee positions because, quote, Berkman asked too many questions and Turnbull was too partisan. In 2019, we have another Brescia abuse of power involving removal of legislator in Agastakis, chair of the Health and Mental Health Committee. The reason Brescia and fellow Republicans had grown tired of Agastakis, quote, criticizing them and trying to show them up as ignorant and saw no reason to reward him with a chairmanship. And Agastakis calls the removal political retribution for his, for his fight to save Valley View. The truth is, Nagastakis ruined the plans to sell closed Valley View of two county executives, most Republican legislators, and one independence legislator. Orange County citizens appreciate Agastakis' value, hard work, honesty, integrity, skills, but Orange County Republicans will never forget or forgive him for throwing a monkey wrench into their well-connected, orchestrated plans to close that facility. Cheers, Mr. Nagastakis. We are sorry you have continued to pay a heavy political and financial price for doing the right thing for the Orange County citizens, particularly those most vulnerable at Valley View. So therefore, I thank and honor Dr. King providing America with guidance through memorable quotes like he had, like I've already stated. And P.S., on January 21st, 2019, the Times-Herald record did shout out a jeers to Mr. Brescia. They too must abide by and also think it's important of what Dr. King has provided us in terms of recommendations. Speak truth to power. Thank you. Okay, next speaker, Virginia Scott, with respect to golf courses, agenda items 13 through 17. Good afternoon. Um, I'm actually gonna correct myself, it was items 11 through 17. Um, I have been attending the physical services meetings consistently, and I've been watching um, how certain uh, proposals come up. And um, I wanna compliment the legislators, um, legislator Benton and Kulisek, um, because they're doing their job. They're asking good questions. Um, I wanna make just a quote because it really stuck with me. Um, this particular um, proposals, they came up the prior month and I believe the prior month before that and they were asking for specific numbers because let's face it, you are using people's money and if you were at home and you were budgeting your money, okay, you want to know where it's going. And I hear comments, well, maybe um, we'll be out of here by five, you know, if we're not asking too many questions. I don't think you're asking enough. So I want to quote, um, this was one, and I, I believe Mr. Ben, uh, Legislator Benton, you had said this. Um, you said, um, oh no, no, sorry. Oh, just because it is in the cent uh, capital plan doesn't mean that you get to do what you want to do with it. And he has to ask for a full list. Um, the same thing, um, uh, Legislator Paduke, uh, uh, sorry, Kulisek, he asked for itemized lists. This was his second request. And again, I could sense the frustration. Unfortunately, I was out in the hallway because there was a special closed door meeting in the middle of this. And there were comments as a taxpayer that disturbed me. I heard public employees complaining about the legislator, nitpicking, asking too many questions, you know, basically what's the big deal? Do your job, and I stand by you on this because this is our money. Thank you very much. Okay, next speaker, June Messina, regarding home, homeowner? Tax bill. Tax bill, okay. So the county tax bill? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, my name is June Messina, um, and the reason I came here today was because the application for correct tax roll, RP554. I've paid my taxes like a good citizen should in September. I was not notified till January that they paid somebody else's taxes with my fee. 
I went running around from bank to bank to get copies of the check. I spoke to, I won't mention his name because I believe the person before said, don't state a person's name. He basically took the form, which I got from Key Bank in Chester, just looked at the fee and paid somebody else's taxes with it. It has caused me great stress. My blood pressure went off the roof. I feel this was an injustice to me. I was told how they could rectify this. And I was told that they're not going to. They're going to keep the system the way it is. It doesn't happen that often. Well, it happened to me. OK? And what I suggest was simple, to change this poor process. Instead of getting the piece of paper, which I have from the bank, with the little number of the fee, because I was told, well, not uh, this is the first time I ever saw the same two tax amounts for two different houses. That's not acceptable. You should check the person's name, and you should check the person's address. Like in medical field, we have two identifiers. So should the people who takes the taxes and works for the county, they should do a double identifier too. That means check the name first and last, and the address, and then with the amount. Second, what I asked them to do was in September, because I pay my taxes myself, it's not through my mortgage, that if once you pay and let's say you get everybody's taxes, then you wait 15 days or 40, 30 days. You send out a letter to the people that did not pay them and say, hey, look, you're in the rears. This mistake could have been caught in November or December. I literally opened up my mail January 3rd and almost my head is pounding, excuse me, literally could not believe it. Not only did I get slapped <clears throat> with the taxes I paid, I got hit with penalties, I got hit with interest, and I was told, don't worry about it, they'll take care of it. Well, if they took care of it, then why did I have to continually to fill out the application for correct tax roll RP554. And then on top of that, I went to the bank and I asked the bank, can they change their process? Because the way the slip is sent to the school to process the taxes is not appropriate. Okay? I was told that's how they do it. I will eventually address that issue with the Federal Banking Commission. And I will send the letter. But I want you to know this is not right. Just, they're not going to change it. I have been told this from the gentleman. Well, please conclude your comments. Three, okay, three so I've been told it. So all I'm asking is to correct my tax bill, send me the proper form that it's been paid, which I have proof, and letters was submitted. And two, I think your system needs to be a little bit changed, so two identifiers. The medical field use them. Okay, thank all you. All right? That's it, and I appreciate for my time. Thank you. Thank you, and have a good day. Okay, that concludes public participation. Next up, we have uh, Majority Leader Benelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to approve the minutes of October 4th, November 1st, and November 14th, 2018. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay, Majority Leader Benelli again. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to vote collectively on items, agenda items number three and four, 12 through 14, 16 and 17, 20 and 21, 23 and 24, 25 through 30, 31 through 33, 40 and 41, 47 and 48, and 49 through 52. Second. If there's no objections, that'll be done. Legislator Minuta. Thank you, Chairman. At this time, I'd like to uh, request the item number 45 on the agenda, resolution of the Orange County Legislature in support of upgrading Route 17 in Orange and Sullivan counties be withdrawn. I second. Okay. No objections. That'll be done. Okay. AA, receive and file. A. Oh, we have more consents. I'm sorry. Majority Leader Benelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Oh. This is a request for consent resolution, 
and I respectfully request that consent be placed on the agenda for resolution of the Orange County Legislator seeking dedicated project funds from New York State separate and apart from TIF funds for upgrades to Route 17 in Orange and Sullivan counties. Okay. I'll be added. Anything else? I have another one. You have another one? Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this request is a consent to place on the agenda resolution of the Orange County Legislature urging Governor Cuomo to restore AIM funding for local municipalities in cases where the funding accounts for less than 2% of the municipal budget, pursuant to Section 153 of the county law. Okay, that'll be added. Anything else? That's it. Yeah, we'll put these on at the end if that's okay with everybody. All right, A, A, receive and file, A, receive and file, B, receive and file, C, receive and file, D, receive and file. Number one, a bond resolution requiring a supermajority. Legislators Benelli, Benton, and then Agnes Dacus. Bond resolution dated February 7, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the acquisition of computer hardware, plotters, and software for the Department of Public Works, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 300,000. Appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 300,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagion, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, three and four bond resolutions. So we vote collectively on those. So, oh, two. What's the matter with me? Two first. Legislators Paduk, Minuta, and Benton. Amending bond resolution dated February 7, 2019. Amending the bond resolution adopted December 7, 2017 in relation to the replacement of Denton Bridge. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagion? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, three and four. You want to give us a little sure. synopsis? Okay. Resolution, um, agenda item number three is amending bond resolution in relation to the replacement of Grove Drive Bridge. And number four is a bond resolution authorizing the issuance of 735000 Bonds um, for the reconstruction of Grove Drive Bridge. We're voting on both of those collectively. Okay. We get them? Second. Okay, we got this motion second. Yeah. Okay. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagion? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number five, two thirds again. Legislators Minuta, Benelli, and Benton. Bond resolution dated February 7, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of building capital improvements at various county locations, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 350000 appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 350,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagion? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tautel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number six, another bond resolution. 
Legislators Minuta, Benelli, Benton, and Paduke. Bond resolution dated February 7, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the acquisition of building equipment at various Orange County locations, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 150,000, appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 150,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Vagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number seven. Legislators Benton, Menuda, and Kulisek. Bond resolution dated February 7, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the removal of asbestos and lead from various county facilities. Stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 50,000, appropriating said amount therefore and authorizing the issuance of 50,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Oh, uh, Kevin Darian added. Lori Totel added. Peter Tui added. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number eight, another supermajority. Legislators Kulisek, Tui, Benton, and Benelli. Bond resolution dated February 7, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the partial reconstruction of various county roads, strength paving, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 1,300,000 appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 1,300,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Discussion? Vero added, Kevin Darian added, roll call. Uh, Lori Totel added, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number nine, resolution. Legislators Tui, Kulisek, Benton, and Padu. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Parks, Recreation, and Conservation to implement and fund in the first instance 100% of the federal aid and state Marcaselli program aid eligible costs of a transportation federal aid project and enter into supplemental agreement number three with the New York State Department of Transportation for costs of the construction and construction inspection work for the Heritage Trail extension pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? O'Donnell added, Sutherland added, Bagion added, uh, Sierra added, Minuta. Wait a minute, is there anybody that doesn't want to be added? Add everybody. I would think we'd want to be on this one anyway. I, thought, I knew there'd be quite a few, so add everybody. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagion? Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. In number 10. Legislators Tui, Kulisek, Benton, and Paduke. Amending bond resolution dated February 7, 2019. Further amending the bond resolution adopted February 2nd, 2012 and amended February 4th, 2016 and further amended on May 3rd, 2018 in relation to financing the cost of the construction of recreational area improvements at the county owned heritage trail at the estimated cost of 9,217,990. Uh, discussion? Yes. Thank you, you Mr. Chairman. Uh, Duke added. Yeah, just a few remarks here in regards to the heritage trail extension. That $9,217,900 mark, I uh, just wanted to let you know that's including a million dollars of project expenditures to be made from the Orange County IDA, 500000 expected to be received from the state of New York, and $7,132,318 and expected to be received from the United States of America and authorized the issuance of $585,672 bonds of the county to finance. 
So just to let you know that that $9 million is not being financed by the county itself, just to give you a little update. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Is there anybody that doesn't want to be added to this? Who's going to add all Dems as well? Yeah. yeah. All Republicans, all Dems, all Independents? Mike, Michael and Mike? Okay. Good. Discussion further? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number 11. Legislators Menuda, Benelli, Benton, and Sutherland. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Parks, Recreation, and Conservation, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Okay. Okay, discussion, Fagione added. Hotel added. This is the Genga added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, 12, 13, 14 collectively. You want to give us a little summary? Mm -hmm. Number 12, a bond resolution authorizing the acquisition of parks, facility, equipment, and turf replacement, 61,000. Bond resolution that, um, authorizing the acquisition of various golf course equipment at the Hickory Hill Golf Course, 140,000. Number 14, bond resolution authorizing the acquisition of various golf course equipment at the Stony Ford Golf Course, 115,000. Okay, discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 15, other bond resolution. Legislators Benton, Tui, and Kulisek. Bond resolution dated February 7, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the replacement of a deck at the Hickory Hill Golf Course, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 90,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 90,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Okay, Jeannie uh, added, and who else? Did somebody else have their hand up? No discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, 16 and 17 collectively, you want to give us a little? Number 16, bond resolution authorizing the construction of irrigation system improvements at Hickory Hill Golf Course. 90,000. Number 17, bond resolution authorizing the construction of irrigation system improvements at Stony Ford Golf Course, 150,000. Okay, discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 18. Legislators Benton and Benelli. Bond resolution dated February 7, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of improvements to various park facilities, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 182,500, appropriating set amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 182,500 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. And number 19. Legislators Benton and Sutherland. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Finance pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion, Fagione added, Totel added, Tui added, Staginga added, Sierra added, and Menuda added, and Paduca added. 
know everybody agrees. Kulisek added? Yeah. Or no, Kulisek wants to speak. Okay, go ahead, Jim. Yes, this is uh, additional funds from sales tax that uh, I think everybody in the audience would be more than grateful to accept. So I, I just want to point out that uh, some of the funds, or all of the funds actually should be a, a welcome gift to all of the towns, villages, and cities in the county. Okay, thank you. Bureau, you want to be added? Mike Paduk added, right? Please, yes. Kevin Darian added? Okay. Everybody, everybody, I'm going to get that much, okay. All right, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. 2021, collectively, you want to give us a little update on that? Number 20, bond resolution authorizing the acquisition of computer hardware and software for the Department of General Services, 1,250,000. Agenda item number 21, bond resolution authorizing the acquisition of computer hardware and software for the Department of General Services in connection with the separation of the county network from E911 and police, net, police network, 850,000. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Number 22. Legislator Benton, resolution authorizing the county executive to enter into an agreement with certain Orange County municipalities providing for the exemption from county taxation of lands owned and used by them for water supply and related purposes, pursuant to section 4063 of real property tax law. Okay, Fagion added. Tui added, Stiganga added, Benelli, Kulisek, Emo. Does anybody doesn't want to be added on this one? Everybody added. Okay. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tartell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, 23 and 24. Agenda item number 23, resolution amending resolution number 334 of 2018 to extend the date of receipt of funds. Agenda item number 24, resolution authorizing the private sale and conveyance of certain county owned lands. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. 25 through 30, collectively. You want to give us a summary? Number 25, resolution approving the applications for the correction of certain errors. Town of Blooming Grove, three. Town of Chester, one. Town of Goshen, one. And Town of Tuxedo, one. That's numbers 25 through 30. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tartell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, 31 through 33 collectively. You want to give us an update on that too? Number 31, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign an agreement to provide assessment services to the town of Palm Tree. Agenda item number 32, an act to create two assessors part-time. Number 34, 34 um, an act, I'm sorry, 31 to 31 32. That's the end, just the two. <laughs> 32? Oh, so we don't have 30, I don't have 33. Number 33, thank you. 33, another act. An act to create two assistant assessors part-time. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? 
Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 ayes. Okay, number 34. Legislators Fagione, Steganga, Benton, and Menuda. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to transfer one geographic information systems manager from a Department of General Services to the Department of Finance, Division of Real Property Tax Service Agency, pursuant to Section 2.02 I of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Vanelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. Yeah, one abstention? Abstention, okay. Laurie 19 Tuffer. eyes and one abstention. Okay, number 35. I'm sorry, 20 eyes, one abstention. I'm sorry, one abstention, yeah. 35, yeah. Legislators Fagione, Benelli, Paduke, Amo, Cheney, Hines, Cool Second Bureau. A resolution calling upon the New York State Legislature to grant Orange and other Hudson Valley counties within the Metropolitan Commuter Transportation District each a whole vote in the management of the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. Sorry. All Republicans added. Okay. All Dems added. Lori to Lori, except Lori Totel. You need to abstain on this one, right? Okay. You want it? I want it, yes, on 34. Okay, yeah, add her to 34 and abstain her on 35. 30, yeah. don't add. Right, don't add. Kevin Darian, you want to speak to it? Add. add. Okay, you're already added. So. Okay. All right, discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? He abstains also. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Abstaining, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 19 ayes, two abstentions. Okay, 36A, receive and file, and number 36, local law. <laughs> Legislators Kulisek and Benelli, Local Law Introductory Number 1 of 2019, a local law to amend the Sustainable Energy Loan Program in the County of Orange. Discussion? Total added. Kevin Darian added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number 37. Legislators Benelli, Hines, and Kulisek. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature assuming lead agency status under the State Environmental Quality Review Act, CEGRA, with respect to the updates to the adopted Orange County Comprehensive Plan and setting dates for public hearings on the proposed updates to the County Comprehensive Plan prior to its adoption. Discussion, Fagione added. You want to speak to it? Yeah. Go ahead. Look, majority, our minority leader, Paduke. And you want to speak, Katie? Okay, Mr. Chairman, oh, yes, I would just like to note that the public hearing we're referring to is on February 20th at 5 o'clock. And there's also another one that's here in the chambers. And then the other one is the 27th of February at 3 o'clock at the, Orange, at the SUNY Orange Newburgh campus on One Washington Center. Duke was added, right? I thought you wanted to speak. Okay. All right. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Steganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, 38. Legislators Fagione, Benelli, Paduke, Amo, Cheney, Hines, Kulisek, and Bureau. Resolution recognizing February as Black History Awareness Month. Okay, and I don't even have to look up. I imagine everybody wants to be on this one, correct? That's right. Okay, discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 39. 
Legislators Fagione, Benelli, Paduk, Amo, Cheney, Hines, Kulasek, Vero, Saganga, Sierra, Sassy, Lujan. Resolution calling for the New York State Legis for New York State legislative action to classify as controlled substances certain fentanyl analogs that are responsible for opioid overdose deaths. And I would assume everybody wants to go on this as well. Yes, everybody went on it as the rules committee, so we'll follow suit. So, Anagnostakis, you. Mr. Chairman. Yes, you have to abstain on this one. Yes, just to, so the people here understand, um, resolutions urging the New York State Legislature, I personally have to abstain from whether I support them or not because I am employed by the New York State Legislature, by the New York State Senate. And on a side note, um, this res uh, New York State Legislature, this has already been introduced by Senator Scoopus and it is in committee for review of this legislation just to let everybody here know too. Okay. Yes, Legislator Nancy Stockus. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have to abstain for, from all of those same resolutions for the same reasons stated. Thank you. Okay, and I'm sure you support. You guys support this, though. Uh, yes, Legislator or, 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 Sassy. I'm sorry. Thank you for bringing this forward as well. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to all my fellow legislators. Just a quick uh, recap: that it went through our opioid subcommittee and went through this uh, entire legislature. And thanks to Legislator Amo and uh, Stagenga, it went to NISAC uh, a week ago or so to the Health Committee and Public Safety Committee where the resolution passed unanimously. And from there it went to the Resolution Committee and passed through there. It is now in the hands of NISAC who will actively lobby uh, legislators in the Assembly and New York State Senate. So this is a great example of a nonpartisan, bipartisan support, I should say, uh, with the help of our counsel uh, and uh, Bob Conflitti from the district attorney's office and all of us here in this room that we made a difference. And I thank everybody for that. And, and thank you also for going to Albany. We really believed in this. Uh, other discussion? What? Tripartisan, yes, you were up there? Sassy was up there, Staganga was up there, and who else was up there? Paul Briskevich, yeah, and yes, yes, sir. I, I just, uh, I don't care if you say something, I know in the, I'm talking about Sherman, Your mic isn't on, Michael. Katie's mic is on. We can't hear you as well. Some their uh, their presentation. I want to compliment Mr. Sassy and Mr. Conflitti who came up to NISAC and presented at our group. And their presentation was so spot on that I think the, the group wanted to do even more than they were asking for. And the really debate was, let's just do something we'll pass, and then maybe we can come back and, and vote on it. And I asked NISAC if they would form a sub task force of our committee to continue to work on this so we could modify resolutions as they need be be modified, and I would hope that they would appoint Mr. Sassy to that committee. Certainly hope so. That was, that's superb. That's great that they, they stood up and listened. We're preeminent in this regard, I think. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Epstein, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 19 ayes, two abstentions. And I'm not the only one to sleep at the switch. With three leaders, please turn off your mics. <laughs> Number 40 or 41, collectively. Agenda item number 40 is a resolution of the Orange County Sheriff's Office to accept and appropriate funds from the Dormitory Authority of the State of New York. Number 41 is a resolution of the Orange County Sheriff's Office to accept and appropriate funds from a state criminal alien assistance program. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number 42. Legislators Hines and Fagione. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Emergency Services to accept and appropriate grant funds from the State of New York State Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services 
pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Yes. Peter Tui added, Kevin Derry and Lujan added, Lori Totel added, and Kathy Stagenga added. And Sutherland, a little hand up there. Sutherland added too. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. And number 43. Legislators Fagione and Lujan, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create one executive assistant district attorney at the Orange County District Attorney's Office pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Two we added, the gang you added, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tartel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 43, right? 40, 44, I'm sorry. Legislators Fagione, Riskevich, Stagang, and Cheney, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to transfer various positions from the Department of Planning to the Division, Division of Tourism, pursuant to Section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Bureau added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 45? Six, right? Oh, 45. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have a note on my thing here. 46, I'm really... Legislator Sassy and Staganga, resolution confirming the appointment by the County Executive to the Orange County Community College Board of Trustees, pursuant to Section 19.01 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Bagione added. Skevich added. Menuda added. Kulisek added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, 47, 48 collectively. Agenda number 47 is a resolution in con authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Health to appropriate fourth year period budget fund, I'm sorry, budget period funds from the New York State Department of Health. Number 48, resolution. Authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Mental Health to accept and appropriate federal Medicaid funds. Uh, Paduk added, Tartel, Lujan. What's that, Lori? Okay, up to 48. Yep. Okay, uh, Kevin Darian added, Peter added, Joe Menuda added. Roll call. Yes, Kevin Darian, you want to speak? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I just wanted to comment uh, briefly on the Orange County Crisis Hotline. Uh, this is one of those kind of movements, one of those kind of changes that, are, that really drastically you know, impact our community. Um, you know, having worked in, in the mental health field for quite some time, um, just seeing you know, in human services in general, we, we need these kind of programs that really kind of streamline and make it easier for the people that we serve um, to be able to get uh, you know, access to housing, access to services. Um, and this is really one of those, those hotlines that are going to allow us to do that. So I'm glad that we're investing the time and money into that. Thank you. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, 49 through 52 collectively. Number 49, appointing members to the Orange County Economic Development and Gaming Committee. Number 50, resolution appointing members of the Labor Relations Advisory Committee. Number 51, resolution amending 
Green Building Study Committee, a special committee appointing members. Number 52, resolution appointing members to the Orange County Airport Advisory Committee. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Padu? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Biro, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, which one's up next? 53 on Route 17. Route 17 resolution, okay. Legislators Benelli and Paduke. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature seeking dedicated projects funds from New York State separate and apart from the TIP funds for upgrades to Route 17 in Orange and Sullivan counties. This Bureau added. Riskevich, you want to speak? Yeah, okay. And then we'll add some more. Yeah, this is uh, basically a replacement of uh, 45, which was withdrawn, and I know what the uh, E&E committee, all members wanted to be added, so unless uh, any of them object, I would ask that you add all E&E committee members. Okay. Lori Totel, no. Oh, you can't abstain, right? Okay, that's right. Except Lori. We've got to get used to that sometimes. Okay. And who else wants to be added? Minuta, Tui, Sierra. Staganga, Paduk. Paduk, you want to speak or no? Okay, Hines. All Republic. Everybody except Totel and the Nagnostakis, let's add, okay? And Maureen Hallahan, I see her out in the audience. She endorsed this resolution, as, you know, she came to committee with it. Thank you, Maureen. Okay, discussion? Minuta wants to speak? Okay, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, I echo the same as uh, Legislator Skevich. Uh, 45 was drawn for this particular reason. So we are in support of it on this new resolution. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Joe. Okay, anything else? Roll call. And this isn't going to jeopardize any money. That was the key thing, right? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Abstaining. Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 19 ayes, two abstentions. Okay, and the next one is what, 54? 54, yes. Okay. Eight. 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 Okay. Legislators Benelli and Paduke. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature urging Governor Cuomo to restore AIM funding for local municipalities in cases where the funding accounts for less than 2% of the municipal budget, pursuant to Section 153 of the county law. Second. Okay. Genga and Agnostakis. Who doesn't want to be added besides the Nagnus? The two abstentions. Everybody else okay with being added? Okay, good. Everybody added? Uh, discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Padu? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland, Tortell, abstaining, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 19 ayes, two abstentions, and the desk is clear. Did we have one speaker for after or no? Yep, two. Two, okay. You already had that. We can speak again, even if it's something else. Okay. Okay, Virginia Scott, committee proceedings. First of all, I'm sorry if um, the way I was trying to read the agenda um, with what I wanted to speak about, um, I checked at the desk and it wasn't matching with the agenda, so that's why I put this at the end. Um, there seems to be this uh, capital project 41, the Logtown Bridge, and um, at the, the um, committee meeting for the uh, public, I'm sorry, the public works, uh, the, I'm sorry, the, the uh, yeah, the Public Works Committee, um, they're talking about uh, computer hardware be of $300,000 that's they were going to reduce the amount of this capital plan project. And um, I noticed on the agenda, um, it, is this item one? Is this the same thing? Because the way that it was read in the committee meeting, it says request supplemental appropriation to the capital projects budget 
the amount of three hundred thousand for computer hardware's plotters um, software to support DPW services. And then it says this new capital project will be offset by reducing the Logtown Bridge replacement capital project by three hundred thousand. Is this the same thing? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay, so my question is that as a legislature, you will budget and appropriate to repair bridges. I'm just trying to understand, and, and you don't have to comment, but um, as a lay person, why would you take money from repairing a bridge for computers? So um, maybe I can get a little feedback on that and understand what this is about, but it doesn't, you know, I would like to see the bridge Fixed because I believe it was deemed necessary. The money was allocated. Why aren't the Why wasn't the bridge being repaired? So thank you. Thank you. Okay, Marianne McDonough regarding decorum. Oh, Dietrich. I'm sorry. Hi, uh, Mary Lou Dietrich, and I cannot be silent. When choosing who to vote for, I look for someone who shares the majority of my ideals, has integrity, questions everything, evaluates all the data before making a decision, and most of all, stands up for what they think benefits the majority of their constituents. I don't agree with every position of Mr. Agnagasakis, sorry if I ruined your name, um, but I do agree with his belief in Valley View and, he has, and that he has decided to work outside his party. Those are two admirable positions to me. Although it is the right of the leadership to add and remove chairs, please do not insult the public by saying Mr. Anagnosaktis was not being punished. As a 30 plus year educator, I know the difference between punishing and rewarding. Being rewarded is to give someone something extra. Being punished is to take something away. No matter how you phrase it, that is what was done to Mr. Anagnosakis and to other legislators in the past. This is why so many of we the people have lost faith in our representatives. And although nationwide it has become acceptable that politicians only work for those who agree with them on all matters and do not challenge them, that is not what it should be. You work for all of us whether we voted for you or not. I thank Mr. Berkman for his asking questions in the past and Mr. Anagnostakis for standing up for what he thinks is right. And I thank all of you for giving me the opportunity to not be silent. Motion to adjourn. Oh, Legislator Fagione, you want to say something? Yes, Chairman, thank you. Uh, just in, a, uh, in full disclosure, I just want to say thank you to the Chairman and the staff here. Uh, in the legislature and all my fellow legislators uh, as in, you know we do record these uh, meetings and they'll be on video as you can see um, I do have a little bit of a band-aid on my nose and this is more of a public service announcement uh, I was very lucky I was diagnosed with a little bit of skin cancer on my nose and I will remind all of our legislators our friends and families that if you do see something on your skin a little dot or a little blotch that maybe isn't normal please go have it looked and checked out and um, you could be saving your life or the life of someone you know. And I'm very lucky that it was just nothing more than a little bit of skin cancer. I'll be 100% fine. But um, just as a public service announcement, please, if you see something, you know, they, they always say, see something, say something. But um, make sure you check yourself out. And I just want to thank everybody for understanding that I'm a little more grotesque than normal. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Legislator Fazion. Motion to adjourn. So All in favor?